nice. Very smooth. It's very I like warm. The, I like the color. <laughs> My third silver car. Let's see the back. Okay. That's all he cares about. The back. It's Saturday morning and it's van day. Maria and the boys are going to pick up the van at around 9.30 today. I'm going to the gym right now and then I have a few patients. So hopefully when I'm, if I'm done early, I can, I can meet them if they're still at the van place. And then later on in the afternoon, well, around 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., is the Toys R Us make and take where it's an Injago mosaic. So hopefully we can get something. The line won't be too long because usually the line is long for those events. And tonight's the live stream, not our live stream. We had our live stream last night, the Full of Bricks live stream with Maria and myself. And then we had the minifigure collector come in to, for a little chat. And No More Bricks came in for the first time, so we met him. He's a nice guy. And uh, that's about it. And I stepped on the scale again today, and 164.0. I lost two pounds. Two pounds yesterday, which is great. So that 13K that I did yesterday and the day before seems to be paying off. We'll see what I can do today at the gym. Maybe 13. We'll see. Third great workout in a row. I did another 13K today in one hour. And then I did some, uh, what did I do? Some biceps and chest and then some core. But it was a great workout again today. My left calf was a bit tight at the beginning, but then around the 10K mark, it loosened up. So the last, th last 3K was good. Heading to the clinic now for some patients. And then I think Maria's gonna pick up her minivan and then maybe the Toys R Us make and take We'll see what time I finish, if I can make it in time for any of those Saturday things. Saturday morning and I've been awake for two hours already. And my house is filthy. Well, it's not really filthy. It's just really, really messy since I haven't been able to clean much because I was very busy at work. I get home, I pass out. I kind of pass out. You don't really pass out when you have kids. And uh, that said, on the weekends, there is no sleeping in. For all of you people who have the luxury of sleeping in, please, please think of us who'd never ever sleep in because we never sleep in. I never sleep in. The problem with me was I grew up really not sleeping much. I always slept maybe five hours a night, six, max seven was like, oh my God, overkill. But now that I have kids, I wish I had invested more time in sleeping. Sleeping really is good to grow your brain and I tell it to my kids all the time. But that said, I've been awake since seven this morning because somebody, not pointing fingers, was hungry. This is like his third snack of the day. Yep, so we've been up and around. I tried the whole, oh, come to bed with mommy. We're gonna snuggle. But no, he wanted to wake up. I've All already right. done a load of laundry and I am now cooking a hearty, hearty breakfast of eggs and hash brown and maybe some bacon. And then after we have to go pick up our van. After that, I have to remember that there is a Lego make and take at Toys R Us where we are going to build some Ninjago mask mosaics. Yay. And then this afternoon, Tristan starts his karate class and Mason has his hockey stick class. Do I call them a class? Hockey stick hour and a half where I get to go to the library with Hayden. That said, there is something lovely about waking up on a Saturday morning or even a Sunday morning, but Saturdays are the best. Nice and early where you feel like you get most of the day at your fingertips. And that said, I feel like this is going to be a very, very busy So I'm really Saturday. trying my best to see how I can organize today to maximize everything I have to do. Clean, have fun, clean some more, have fun. I've already vacuumed. However, the only vacuum I have in the house is my Dyson handheld. Nick actually took our larger Dyson over to the clinic to give it a, I guess, deeper clean. I don't know. But I need to ask him for it back so that I can, well, suck all the dirt out of my carpets here. I love to leave the house by nine for the dealership. I'm bringing Tristan and Mason with me. There is a little uh, kid area in the Toyota weight room. So that should be good. I'm leaving Hayden with my mom for a few hours this morning because who knows how long this transfer of plates from one car to another may take and all that stuff. Here's the keys. Thank you very much. Give me my new car. And then I really, really have to go to the gym. But that said, I got to do my floors first. It looks shiny. But there's all these germs. Running around for the last three and a half hours because I don't know. I keep on finding one mess in one corner and then stick in that corner. I think I finally have five seconds to scarf down my coffee and this super delicious coconut bun. I love my mom-in-law. 
she uh, brings us these coconut buns sometimes every week. Um, but yes, they are so delicious. They are my absolute favorite, and I actually even had them for Mason. No, I don't. That's actually I'm that's helping small. Nick with his weight loss. So more coconut buns. This for me. is our last drive in the Highlander. I'm gonna miss this car. It really drives very well. Although I feel like now that it knows that it's being returned, it's acting up. It sounded funny yesterday. Some parts of it sounded funny yesterday. Or it could be me getting all, you know, I don't want to part with you. Excited about so. getting a bigger car? Mm -hmm. Why? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to drive a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm driving a bus. You heard it. It's there. Got some nice, exciting Indiana Jones action movie song in the background. I think we're meant to have all these cool, awesome adventures in the new van. Goodbye, Highlander. Say goodbye, Highlander. Bye. Bye. Our new car. He's gonna bring it around. Our new bus. We need a name for it. What are we calling it? The sexy bus. Nah. Hmm. Something else. But yeah. So we got our three set of keys. We got our owner's manual. And uh, yeah, we're going to be getting in it. A million soon. forms. Here are my new set of keys. What else? Lots of space now. Here we are in our new car. You like it, guys? Yeah. I have nice, toasty heat warmers. And I've already paired my Bluetooth, so I think we are ready to go. Okay, here we go. Maiden voyage. I'm driving a bus. My destiny. Embrace it. Embrace so it. Embrace so it. Good. And look at this cool alien cup holder that just comes out like that. Pretty smooth ride. My seat is very nice and toasty. I almost don't want winter to end at this the point. The only thing missing is really in the center part. I don't have anywhere to rest my wrist. This thing is here now. It used to be here. Instead, I have this huge area for my mommy purse. I heard some shades over in the side which is cool because now we don't have to buy shades anymore when it's getting blindingly the boys are sitting very far back from me they're like in a whole different country over there hey boys how's the weather down there good <laughs> i want a blindfold because the sun is yeah mine's very big console area which is all touch screeny and different apps and source I don't know I have to play around with it read that manual I'm not book. sure if I'm a fan of these white um, odometers these white meters I know it's what gives the Toyota brand the sporty look but I, I don't know I always like my meter gauges darker just like that I think I have returned to my van driving ways it's like riding a bike you never quite forget how to ride a van or drive a van Look at me hugging a corner, hugging a corner, right with my Much bus. of a, dro a drop from floor to the ground, not like the Highlander, so that's cool. And uh, lots of seat and slippery chairs, which is cool. Nice and heated at the moment. Oh, I could, I could sleep on there right now. It's a thing being like a small person and wanting to drive big cars. I don't know. I think it's Sequoia after this. Sequoia. I'm all done here. My last patient just left. I'm going to head home now. Maria... Picked up the van, the new van at the dealership. So I'm going to meet her at home and then we're going to go to Toys R Us for the Toys R Us make and take for Ninjago. So this is the look of the front. I like the grills happening there, which gives it the sporty look. I have the uh, extra big grills, but really it's a van. And more silver. This is my third silver vehicle. Me and Silver were meant to Trump be space together. This is a tremendous improvement to what we have given that we have more space inside and this almost bottomless pit to put our things in. But I don't know what best to um, organize it because I feel like we're just going to put one thing on top of the other and I still have this stroller. To install our Diono car seat. It's supposed to be super easy and I was able to do it before and ew gross. I It's so cold outside my nail bed just Blech, threw up blood. I, home. I just called Nick to say that I'm on my way. Uh, we're going to the Toys R Us event, but of course I have to get his reaction uh, when he first sees this bus. Maybe I'll just call it that. Maria's mama bus. 
It's nice. Very smooth. It's very I like warm. The, I like the color. <laughs> My third silver car. Let's see the back. Okay. That's all he cares about. The back. If you enjoyed our family vlog and you want to see more, click that like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment in the comment section. We love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see yesterday's vlog of baby Hayden walking for the first time, the link is in the description below. See you guys next time.